Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about how I'm building the structure for my BMO PC build. So last week I talked about using an aluminum angle as the main pieces for the structure of this build. and. This week I'm just going to update you guys on that progress. Before I began the final 3D prints for the top and bottom pieces for this model, I was testing the tolerance for the fit of my components into these 3D prints because my 3D printer has like a dimensional accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 millimeters and that really affects how loose or tight the fit might be for something like this aluminum bracket into uh, this print. So I made a couple of test prints to test the fit of the aluminum brackets as well as the steel sheets slotting into the base of my print as well as the holes for the magnets that are going to be located at the top of my 3D print which are going to be used to hold the steel sheets up. As these are my first large scale prints with Petchi, I had some issues in the beginning to do with warping and the print not sticking to the bed. I think I had to reprint each piece about three or four times when they messed up. There was even one time when I didn't get the supports on correctly so I tried to stick a couple pieces of tape underneath and hope that it would stick but it didn't really work. I had some bridging issues with the bottom print which I had to clean up before sanding and puttying. Since I was using Bondo and spray painting, safety first I also got a respirator for the duration of the project. Now over the last week I patched up the 3D prints for the top and the bottom using Bondo which is a putty like filler which by the way if you guys are interested I'm going to be making a tutorial video on how to use Bondo to finish and repair 3D prints so if you guys are interested be sure to subscribe down below and you'll be notified when that goes up. Anyways I put about six or seven applications of Bondo to fill any gaps or holes in my print and I just sanded that over between each application to get the smoothest result I could get. But really most of the process was just sanding. I feel like more than half the projects that I work on is just me sanding. So here's a little montage of all that sanding. When I finished with that, I sprayed a layer of white primer on top. Well, actually a couple layers and I did this for both my top and bottom pieces. Then I put a top coat of that seaside teal color from Rust-Oleum and surprisingly I only needed about one coat or so so thumbs up for that. Then for the aluminum brackets I cut them down to size and I drilled the holes where I'm going to mount the supporting beam to hold the motherboard and I just screwed them in with a couple of nuts and bolts and that's the finished result of my BMO PC case. Now I know this isn't part of my structure but I also wanted to update you guys on some of the developments that I made for this project so far. So since last week I figured out how I was going to mount the hard drive bay uh, underneath and suspend it above the motherboard. I'm just going to screw it into a portion of the top 3D print and basically I'm just going to screw it into the top 3D print and then it's going to be suspended down. I also got a PCI riser cable which is basically a extension cable for your video card. So this allows the video card to not have to sit directly against the, the motherboard and the CPU and it'll give it a little distance between the, the GPU and the CPU and that's just generally better for cooling. And this piece is going to attach to that suspended hard drive bay which is going to look something like this. Alright, so things are coming along. I can't wait to see the progress I have next week. If you guys are interested in this project, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and you guys will be notified every week on Sunday when I put up a new video. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.